And so here comes the difficult part, picking what you're going to send to Mars for the very, very, very first time. Your prefab buildings are buildings that you have basically in a little capsule where you just add a little bit of space dust and poof, you've got buildings, right? It's not like that, but you get the idea. A drone hub is definitely something that you should always take. That's controlling all of your drones. So that is that is priority. So your moisture your moisture evaporator is producing your water. Your fuel refinery is producing the fuel to go back to Earth. These parts, you'll need them, but you need them later. It doesn't hurt to cherry pick and start adding these to a payload if you have the space for it. But you need machine parts, and you need polymer, and you need electronics to all repair things. So it's important that you get these eventually. But until you're at that point, you can always send those parts up to Mars. In fact, this is much cheaper in the grand scheme of things than taking one of these guys. If we drop these guys down and we do this I mean 600 million was that machine parts 630 buys me 35 so it's not I mean it's not terrible 35 is a, is a lot of parts you need more to build but maintain you don't need a whole lot so your prefab buildings I would focus on your drone hub, your moisture evaporator, and your fuel refinery right off the bat. Unless, of course, I just remembered that this guy does not need fueling because the rockets just auto-fuel themselves. Your explorer and your rover. So the rover is the one that carries your tiny drones. This is very handy. Do you need it right off the get-go? Probably not, but probably your second or third rocket, you're going to want it. Your explorer is what scans anomalies and stuff on the surface. This is definitely, you want to send it right away, but I would also argue taking that off and grabbing your transport. So your transport will go mine materials for you. So once you land, you could start building up a ton of materials, aka metals, occasionally polymers, but it's mostly metals on the surface. If you do that, you could have this huge stockpile of metal before you've even started mining the metal. Which all that metal is used predominantly to maintain and build a lot of your structures. So that your solar panels for electricity requires metal to build, requires metal to maintain. So it's very simple to keep your electricity grid going with just your transport and not having to get into one of these guys. Drones are your workers. You're going to want a few of these. Maybe you don't need six. Maybe you do. It doesn't hurt to have extra until you have too many. Once you get into mid to late game, you might not need so many of these drones. But early on, you're going to have a high workload and it's going to stress your system. If you still have a high workload when you have colonists on the planet, they might not get stuff fixed right away, which means you might have colonists dying because of dehydration, lack of oxygen, etc., etc., lack of heat. Remember, Mars is cold. I believe the warmest I've found on the planet so far in the game has been 15 Celsius. Negative 15, sorry. Negative 15 Celsius. That's significant. That, that's pretty cold. I mean, honestly. Right? There's ways to counteract that. Always having your electricity going, having service heaters, etc., etc. But then if you're in a region that gets a cold wave, definitely going to want to keep that electricity going, and you're definitely going to want service heaters. This tells you basic construction material often used to construct and maintain domes and dome buildings. This is pretty heavy. You might not want a lot of this. In fact, you have an abundance of this on the planet. I've never sent this from Earth to build anything. 
medals. I have sent these just because I didn't know any better. Food. I send this periodically. Sometimes it's great to have a taste of home. Well, what used to be their home. Polymers, machine parts, and electronics are all very necessary. Sending some of these every time you can is is pretty optimal. Maybe not so much, but maybe a replenishment of say five five and five when you start making these parts. Maybe a replenishment of fifteen every go whenever you're gonna send one of these guys up. Or one of these guys. Like one of your rovers. The orbital probes. Those are handy. They reveal spaces quickly and automatically. It's instant. But you don't necessarily need them right away. You could always save this and add, say, your explorer. Or add your rover. You can launch with this. You could get your hub set up. And then your next rocket could be something else. Now I choose and I walk through this process in the Let's Play. Do what makes you feel best, but also consider that in order for you to get a rocket back, you need a fuel refinery and you need your moisture evaporator. Unless of course you play International Mars Mission, at which case you don't need any of this to send things back. That's it for this overview. Stay awesome, stay amazing. If you found this episode handy, please like and subscribe. Don't forget, you can check me out five days a week on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Azili. Links down below. Thanks again for watching. Stay awesome. Stay amazing.